everybody, Carol here. Welcome back to my channel. So this is a resin project I've been waiting to do. I want to make a big 3D looking tray for myself with kind of a garden stream kind of a scene with flowers. So there's many layers. This was quite a labor of love. But in the end, I'm really happy with it. So first I had to pour some clear bookmarks because I use them later to make little parts out of. And then I mixed the rest of the clear with coffee mica and filled up my handles because I'm making the handles too. But I only filled them partially because then I painted flowers on them with metallic markers and for some reason that clip got erased so that's why I'm telling you you'll see them already done coming up there they are the other things there in the picture uh, I didn't even end up using this was I had a 10 inch round druzy mold I had made myself before I cut it up to use it to represent the water and the fountain in my tray. And all the information about the uh, products I use, the mica powder, the paints, etc., all will be in the description below. So then I filled these handles, as you can see, to the top with clear resin and let them set. And then the first resin coat is a thin coat with the coffee mica, and this will be semi-transparent in the end. Also, I didn't bother filming every time I torched and covered and uh, poured a clear resin layer. I just let you know that so this video wouldn't be too long. A couple other things that for some reason got erased is the drawing with a bronze metallic marker that outline for my patio, which I'm filling in now. And then you'll also see uh, further along here that there are stones drawn on the patio all of a sudden because that also got erased. This was a real technical nightmare for me, but I got through it and hopefully it'll all make sense to you in the end.
so then after this I also set the little bridge which I made from those clear bookmarks I bent it before it was completely cured and painted it with metallic markers and some gold paint also after I set it I let it cure for four more hours, then added another layer of resin to cover everything, including the druzy molds, and then, of course, covered it again and let it sit for just a few more hours again. And then I moved on to painting my garden area with the base color of some green flash. And then here are four little benches, also made out of the clear resin bookmarks. I took them out before they were totally cured so that I could cut them into the four little rectangles. Then after they cured, I painted them with the metallic markers. Then, just like on the handles, I used the same green and pink markers to put the flowers in the garden. So then after the flowers are done, I moved on to the fountain details, trying to make the circle in the center where the water would shoot up and also the splashes around the fountain with white and blue metallic markers. Okay, so just after three hours, when the resin is still gooey, I used a toothpick to try to disrupt the resin in the center and kind of pull it up and make it look like uh, the water raising up. Um, I don't know in the final tray if it's really noticeable, but the top spray definitely is. But anyway, that's what I did. And then I, of course, added some iridescent powders to it to make it match the rest of the water. Thank you. 
and then I placed the handles and that took me a good half hour to get it exactly right on both sides because the sides weren't really straight and the handles weren't straight so it was quite a feat to try to make them look even and uh, the same distance from the edges on either side. Then I poured another layer of clear resin and covered it for at least eight hours until it was definitely hard enough to work on again. And then I moved on to do my top layer of the spray of the water fountain. For this, I used a brush with some metallic white acrylic paint and peacock pearl met metallic paint so that I could get a little more of a wispy look. Okay, so final layer, cover overnight, and it's time to unmold. I was so excited. I couldn't wait to see how things looked once they were out of the mold because I knew the coffee color base would be semi-transparent. And then when I get those druzy molds out, uh, the water should be semi-transparent and very sparkly and hopefully crystalline looking due to the druzy molds. So there was a little bit of, as you can see, seepage of resin underneath the molds, which is to be expected. And it wasn't difficult to get it out, but it was a little time consuming, so I don't make you watch me do the whole thing. And here we go, taking out the first one. And it's just beautiful, just what I wanted. And the same with the rest. So there you go. Turned out better than I expected and I'm um, really, really psyched. So here comes the close-ups, and you'll be able to see the little bit of the ultra-fine glitter glistening. I'm glad I did that. It just adds a little sparkle. And so to all my supporters, old and new, I hope you enjoyed watching the process as I created this tray. And if this is your first time here, I do acrylic, fluid art and acrylic painting along with my resin art and I hope that you will subscribe and share this video and if you want any further information on this piece of art or anything else that I've done just check the description below you'll find my email there and you can contact me at any time so till next time please stay safe be kind and have a great day